Hi, Dr. Sam Lucy from Skin Cancer and Cosmetic Clinic in Neutral Bay. I'm here to tell you about the Comet Hyperkater or Electro Surgery. This is a very nice method, an efficient method to remove multiple raised moles or aging warts or unwanted skin tags that you may find it annoying on your body or your armpits. So I'll tell you a little bit about how this procedure is done. And it's actually very quick, probably takes about less than five minutes, uh, depending on how many lesions we're doing. So you might have three case scenarios. You might have a raised mole, you may have a little skin tag or a papilloma, or you might have a wart or a seborrheic keratosis or an aging wart that is raised like that above the skin. So in any of these procedures that we're doing, um, we first anesthetize the skin using a local anesthetic so everything is numb. Uh, the beauty about this procedure is that there's no cutting, there's no knives, uh, no stitching is needed. So after this procedure is done, the skin is actually nice and flat. Okay. So after the anesthetic is, uh, starts working, then we take the hyperkater or the electrosurgical device and we could either use this to cut or we can use a blade to cut this and use the hyperkater to stop the little pinpoint bleeding and then after that it's sealed. That's for removal of a mold. As for a skin tag or a papilloma, uh, after it's anesthetized, we use this, we, it cuts right through the stalk and it also seals the little artery and vein and so this thing is sealed as well. For warty lesions, aging warts, seborrheic warts or even viral warts, uh, and we, we use a smoke evacuator for this to suck out the plumes, uh, we vaporize this lesion like this zzz, until we reach the flat layer of the skin and then we stop. And this thing fortunately also seals the blood vessels. So after that, we use a bit of gauze with antiseptic, give it a wipe and all the scabs come off and it feels actually nice and smooth. After the procedure, we apply a bit of antibiotic ointment over it, put a little dressing or a band-aid over it and then off you go. Uh, you're able to do your usual activities, you can shower and bathe, but just get you to put back a bit of uh, antibiotic ointment after the procedure. Normally heals up with a little flat scar, sometimes not very visible at all. Um, Again, very similar to other benign mole removal procedures. If you do have some pigment cells at the level of your mole under the skin, uh, you get about 10% of the time that after this is removed, although it's flush, you may see a bit of pigment there. Uh, best if you can uh, give us a call to get your mole assessed uh, at our clinic to make sure it's not malignant before one of these procedures is done. Um, the number to call is 02 Yep. So we're just going to be doing a shave excision, electro desiccation of two uh, raised intradermal nevus, two moles, and a seborrheic wart. Okay. So the first, <coughs> the first part is anesthetized with local anesthesia. Just pinch. Do you feel anything? So that's been um, shaven off. Now this is the electro desiccation. Okay, so it's coagulated and the bleeding stops. For seborrheic warts or seborrheic keratosis, which are aging warts, we simply vaporize. And wipe. And wipe. And it comes off. And maybe just a little bit more. Okay, so the rest of it, um, we're going to put a little bit of uh, antibiotic ointment, a little simple band-aid dressing, and that's it.